Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar. We are right where we left off here at um, Empath Abbey. And I'm trying to, <laughs> in all honesty, I'm trying to remember what we're doing here. I think we were trying to find the part of the key. Um, we found the candle, the candle of love, which is what you found here, but we didn't find the part of the key. And I, I don't know that I want to continue to try to uh, to find it here. So we're going to uh, actually leave Empath Abbey. And well, actually, maybe not. I'll stay there for a minute cause, just because it's safe. And let's take a wee peek at the notes to begin with. And let me see where I have ships. So let's see. My location where I'm at right now is B and A. So up by Minoc. That's not super close. If I look at the map, I'm Minoc. Yeah, over near where the Shrine of Justice is. Minot Moongate. B and C. That is not B and C, sir. <laughs> Whoever wrote that past me doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. However, we do have a bunch of ships over by Lord British. And so I think probably the best thing to do would just be to let's hop the Moongate and get down to Lord British. Uh, let's go back to the game, shall we? And um, and then uh, we can go from there. So we need to exit this. We can go south a little bit. Hopefully I can find it. I always seem to go past it. Like I think I'm past it here. I don't know. Where am I? D and D. Let's take a peek at the map again because I forgot to look at the coordinates for you. Well, you Moongate, it's like C and barely D, looks like. Barely D. So I just need to go back a little bit. Yeah, maybe it is a little north. Well, there's you. I'm still bumbling around here trying to find um, the... Uh, the U moon gate and what I found was you here. And then these, these, uh, idiots decided to, um, attack me. There's been a lot of that. You can look at our gold. We're almost at 2000 gold. It's ridiculous. Um, so, and it will probably, well, I, I shouldn't say that we may not get, we need 60 something gold to get over to get over uh, 2000 but we're darn close and the way these guys just keep a coming I'll take out this troll he's fleeing I'm halfway tempted to use a fireball on him but at the same time not really worth the magic alright let's take care of Mr. Etten here Another one, while we're in combat, speaking of combat, another one uh, of my commenters, I think this was Brian Miller, mentioned that we can get mystic bows and ranged weapons and, and such. So, um, and I, and I, you know, I cheated. I looked that up and um, we got to go to Buccaneer's Den for that. 72 gold. Look at that. We're above. Okay, so we are at C and D. So it's like, it's not far. It's like over here someplace. Come on, baby. I don't know. This might be this might be the clearing. All right, we just got to deal with this one, Skelly. Um, so we got to sail back to Buccaneer's Den, and there we can buy um, Mystic Bows. So we will probably be doing that. Um, for my character, Gizmo, uh, I will probably be... St well, I, I will have to stick with the... Um, with the mystic sword, I think, because, yeah, this is where I wanted to be. Because, uh, and actually, before I get yammering on that a little bit, let's take a quick peek at the notes. 
And let's, let's see, navigation, moon phases. So we need to get back down the Lord British. He's the first thing. Beautiful. So let's wait for that. Because my character being a mage cannot use um, a bow. That's why I was using a sling. So um, I'm guessing my range attack is going to have to be fireball. All right, so supposedly we have a ship here. I didn't think so. I need I, apparently I didn't update that. Um, hmm. Let's enter in here a little bit. Actually, let's look at stats. It's been a little while since I've looked at it. Oops, messed that up. All right, I, I'm done. I'm at level eight. That's the max. He's got a ways to go. Always go. Actually, Julia is ready to uh, is ready to um, level up. She needs to get to sixteen hundred. So while we're here, we'll probably pop up to a Lord British. Um, and then Dupree's got a little bit to go. Joffrey's got a little bit to go. Katrina's got a little bit to go. Julia. She's got, she needs 25 more experience points, or Jana, not Julia. Jana needs 25 more experience points to get up to level three. So that's everybody. I actually need to sell these in case we get, um, you know, in case we die. All right, and, and the armor too. All right, let's go up and see Lord British and let's get, um, I forget who that was. Was it Julia? Somebody needs to um, to level. We might as well top off everybody's health. Julie is down a little bit. And then we're going to go find our ships. I know we have some some ships um, a little bit off to the east. My notes slide that there's one at uh, Lord British, so I'll have to update that. Come on, get out of my way, Jester. You guys, you kill me. There we go, Julia, level six. No. So now we're all healed. Beautiful. Nothing. All right. And actually, while we're here, let's take a look at the notes. And navigation. Map coordinates. So, yeah, I've got an extra ship at Lord British's. That is not true. But you can see we got a bunch at GB here. And uh, that's not too far away. Not too far away. So let's... Guards. All right. Because we need to get over to Vesper. And the easiest way to do that is just to take a ship along the coast. Because if we, if we go over land, we're going to have everybody trying to kill us. Like this guy. God darn it. Trying to get away from him. Thought maybe we could outrun him. Just because of the annoyance factor. Not that... Oh, that was a mistake. You know, not that I'm worried. <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. But it's just like, you know... Sometimes we just don't have the time to kill your ass. Although, you know, if it's going to be one-hit wonders... Then uh, that's fine. course as always the old the old refrain helps if you hit them all right Ooh, that guy Ooh, that guy's got a little bit of hp come on iolo get up here and i'll let you get some xp everybody down there you're just kind of i i might have well as long as we've got these melee weapons i might have to um just uh, rotate people. I think he is fleeing. And I guess we'll be kind and let him flee because it's faster than chasing him. And we couldn't get him anyway. Alright. So we need to go over here. And we need to go across this. Oh, liches. Lovely. Someplace. I don't remember what these guys' deal is. In all honesty. I don't, I mean, they look freaky, 
but they do do magical hits. They have diagonal hits. They aren't affecting my magic. Let's see how they do against some mystic weapons. I'm not sure we've taken mystic weapons up against these guys. If they're going to cause us any undue pain, then maybe um, uh, I will sear their faces with some fireballs. Let's get up to them. All right. All right, I think the rest of you can just sit there. <laughs> it is to laugh. <laughs> All right, come in. Oh, wow. I love that these are one hits. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. That just warms the cockles of my soul. Well, that one wasn't, but he is fleeing. So that's about as close as you can get to a one hit. Yeah, he is fleeing. And I don't know, is that guy gonna come gonna go down there and I should send Shamino over? He said, I don't want the A team. I want the B team. Oh, heavily wounded. This guy's got a little bit of HP. That guy's done. Good going, Joffrey. There we go. All right, so where are we at? We are at G&G. &G. So someplace. Yeah, yeah, here's our ships. Here's our ship. So let's locate this guy. This is a G and H F. Yeah, I had that on my list. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna bother showing you. I'm just crossing it off to show that we are boarding it. Um, now somebody gave me a hint, and I haven't been on a ship all this time. I don't remember who it was. It's been a while since I got this hit, and they said if I do. Okay, that doesn't work. Um, okay, this isn't working. Um, somebody said that if I if I when I'm boarded the ship, if I use the wheel, that it would give me greater damage instead of just the fifty. But that looks to be untrue. Goodbye, Ettens. Enjoy yourselves. All right, let's go this way. Um, let's just take a quick peek at the map. So we were like, gee, oh, that's not the map. That's the map. So Vesper is at D and M, and we were at G and H. So we've got a little ways to go. All right, let's keep going. Oh, good, the wind... The wind shift, well, the wind shifted north, so. Zorn, go away, Zorn. All right, so what did I say? We're G and J, so we're getting closer. If I can keep the coast in sight that would be my preference i think we're right around the lock lake area there i also have we need to go back to lock lake because um f and l wait a minute, I'm, I'm am i i'm confused so what did i say vesper is actually at d and m okay i gotta get to m because the coast goes up north quite a ways, and that'll get me that'll get me up to D once I go north. So we need to get to M for the latitude, I think is how they no, the longitude. The longitude. So, we, so we're almost there. We're at we're at L. We're not too far. Of course, we have to go directly into the wind. All right, let's go. Let's keep going north a little bit. 
little bit more. I think this little spur of land that's coming in, I think this is where Vesper is going to be. Yipper. All right. I do want to get in here. I just want to remember um, what they sell at the guild shop. I was thinking this might be where... Well, this is just arms. Let's see what they sell at the arms. All right, there you are. Let's see. So if I want to buy dagger seams, nothing. But let's sell. Um, let's sell our daggers. Sure. I will sell sling. Both of them. 25 gold pieces. Sure. I will sell my bows. All four of them. 500 gold pieces for them. Yeah, that's not too bad. I don't remember what I paid for them, but... Golly, I don't think it was that much. <laughs> I think we may have come out ahead. All right, let's see what it's going to give me for the crossbow. Because the crossbow, I think, was 600. So we're getting 300. Yeah, I mean... All right, that's I can't. I don't think we can sell our hands. <laughs> that would that would be kind of strange. That's the N. Okay, so that wow, look at that. We're almost at three thousand gold. All right, guild shop, guild shop. Actually, you know what stats for? How am I doing on things? Oh, I got plenty of gems. I got plenty of keys. All right. I still want to talk to this guy and see what all he has, but I wanted to make sure I didn't need to buy keys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dude, you are killing me. Whoever the hell you are. Yes, please. And that's just it. Torches, magic gems, magic keys. All right. Nothing. Okay. Uh, and that was the, that was the, um, the tavern. Uh, we're doing okay on food. I, I probably should go... I forget where it was. Scarabray, maybe? That was super cheap. All right, so let's go up. We have to do a little meditating. And actually, let me get my mantra in mind. So this is sacrifice. So the mantra is ka, C-A-H. Um, so let's enter... Sacrifice for one cycle. Okay. And we'll stump for cycle C A H. Thoughts are pure, you granted a vision, give that, okay, yeah, we've read all this before. Okay, so here's, up here in this corner, I think there is Nightshade based on a comment uh, from, I believe it was Brian Miller. The piece that I was missing is that we were supposed to search during full new moons. Um, so let's wait here a little bit and and see if it's there because if we can get nightshade just by standing here and 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 waiting for double full moons then i might do a little bit of farming here especially while we are dealing with uh, getting our our um our sacrifice going and, and you know i've hit the i've hit the timing of the moons totally wrong here so let's see what's going to happen and voila. Now, unfortunately, we can only do it once per, so that's kind of annoying. But let's see if we can meditate again. Because I had to sit there for a couple minutes. Okay, good. I can. Oh, no, we're still weary. Oh, you guys can cross. Crap. All right, let's, um, let's take these guys out. And then we'll try it again. I mean, I was just standing there for like a whole cycle of the moon. So, uh, screwed that up. So I don't really understand why our mind's too weary because we, you know, we we have plenty of time. We're waiting for the moons to to roll around to um 
you know, to to relax and think about our, our choices as Avatar. All right, I'm going to go up here. You go up there. Attack! And Iolo misses. What a shock. Stunned I am. All right, I'm go up here. All right, thank God for Shamino. All right, Iolo. There you go. You had one job. You finally did it. Joffrey, you've been hanging out with Iolo too much. All right, I'm going to get this guy to the north. Done. Ah! All right, and there was one. Oh, is he fleeing? I mean, we haven't hit him, I don't think. Yeah, he's definitely fleeing. Let's let him go. Oh, oh, we get to set in here. Duh. Um, yeah, we'll get Jana involved. I could move Iolo over, I suppose, but let's see if Joffrey and, yeah, Joffrey took care of it. All right. 82 gold. Man, we got a lot of gold. All right, let's hold up and camp. I probably should see if we could meditate, but we'll hold up and camp first. All right, enter. It'd be nice if it would tell me if I was too weary before I've typed in sacrifice. Oh my fracking God, are you kidding me? All right. Oh. All right, troll. You feel lucky, punk? Well, do you? Trouble is, this is going to take us... <laughs> how long to get to him? Yeah, I think uh, I think we need to make the, the voyage to Buccaneer's Den to get to get the ranged weapons because especially these little these little one shots you know we could be done in the time it takes us to even engage it's, it's a little ridiculous and you know I don't maybe we will do some maybe we won't get those for everybody um, maybe we'll just do that for a few people um, like I have to look at the uh, at our companion list again because I put on there what their preferred weapon is or what's their strongest weapon, and so like I think um, Katrina as a shepherd bow is supposed to be really good for her, and so maybe if we can just get three or four of our party, maybe like four, uh, and get them using a bow, and um, And then we can leave the front four maybe as melee. It'll save us some money, A. And then it gives us... It gives us... Uh, oh, that's right. We do really don't want to get in front of these. See, this is the problem now. Well, we have to have a metric buttload of, of, of gold right now. But at the same time, we don't necessarily want these guys getting in close. Because then they tend to steal it. But they, we have to get in close with them because we're melee, which sucks. Yeah. But hopefully we can kill him fast. Yeah. You know, it took some gold. You know, some days I feel like Gary Oldman in, in uh, The Fifth Element. I am very disappointed! <laughs> Usually right after Iolo. Alright. Oh my fracking god. Let's see if we can do it now. And then we'll deal, you know, and then we'll deal with all those morons and maybe get some more, get some more nightshade. In fact, I need to look at my, I mean, did I just get one piece of nightshade? Or did I get more? I hope I got more. I don't know. Sacrifice. Two cycles. Oh, thank God we can meditate. And what I might do is once we get this, I might, I might end this episode and then we'll deal with, um, 
all the baddies at the beginning of next episode. And get our get our third meditation and finish this guy up because it's taking longer than I thought. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Uh all right, I think we're gonna take out these demons. Because you know, he's over the water right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's not gonna give me he's not gonna give me time. Let's see if I can get to the double zero. Um, double zero. The double new moon, and so I can find some more nightshade, and then we'll um we'll take him on after that. Come on, baby. Okay, we found nightshade. Oh, thank God. Two demons, no balrogs. I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. All right. Let's get over, let's get over, let's get over. We're getting stopped by shrubberies. Come on, Julia. All right, I think you guys at the bottom. I might move you up just so I don't screw up. <laughs> Been known to happen. I don't know, you know what? I'm tired of your uh, missing ways. So I think uh, rather than be disappointed, I will let you take a break on this one. Oh, nice. All right. I think I'm just, I'm going to get up here and take care of this last guy. Barely wounded. Oh, this guy's got a little bit of HP. I should have moved uh, Shamino up there. I think it's Shamino. It might be Joffrey, actually. Yeah. All right, let's move him over. I don't think anybody else is going to get here in time. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. 42 gold. All right. I think I will let that be that. And um, we will come back next time. And we will kill these guys down here. And then we'll finish this up. And well, actually, before I, before I close it down, let's see what we got for Nightshade. Need to go sell our armor. Oh, 17 nightshade. Holy hell. Okay, that's that's wonderful. I was thinking I was going to have to sit here for a bit and uh do a little grinding, and I may still do that um to get um because I was thinking like 50 would be good. I just, you know, as a round number, but we got I did it twice. We got 17. I don't know how the obviously it's not a round even number, but that's Awesome, awesome, awesome. That makes me so darn happy. All right, we'll do some more night shading. We'll finish this up and get one of our slices back. And then uh, next time we might head down to, from here, we might head down to uh, Buccaneer's Den and um, see what we, can, what we can see as far as uh, getting some ranged weapons for some of our peeps. But I'm going to let that be that. I'll be back in your ear holes soon. And I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.